Going to walk over there, going to that bench over there. Oh, let me keep walking. You know, I still want to make another video about not laying treasures on earth because I feel on my heart that this needs to be said. I'm keeping these animals in view because I'm going to ref to refer to them in a moment. We spot over this bridge. Oh, not that more. Oh. You know well, no, I'm going to the bench anyway. Oh, look. Just think for, with me for a moment. You are, li are viewing this video. What is the number one problems, problems humans face in relationships? I don't care if it's a marriage or a dating or business relationship or a relationship between, count a relationship between countries. What's the number one problem that is the core problem of all human relationships? You know, the answer is selfishness. Someone has a claim and he or she expects others to validate that claim so that the claim will become reality. The claim isn't real, it's just a claim, but he or she uses force to get what he or she wants and, and, and in this denies the, the needs and the rights of others. See, that's basically the whole human history summarized. Human beings wanted to become God, wanted having their stupid claims and they expect others to just bow down to their claims and if someone will not and they are, and they are able, they will punish that individual or even kill that individual so that they're right, so that their way can happen. Basically, the world human history is all about humans trying to take the place of God. Wanting to become the God of their own lives. Wanting to have rulership over their own lives. You know? So, let's say, that's, that's the mentality of laying a treasure on, on Earth. You want to have a treasure, a gathering of resources and social relationships upon which you exercise dominion. That's what it's all about. Laying treasure, treasure, treasures on Earth it's all about wanting to have dominion, wanting to have power over other people and resources. And the Lord made, made clear that we are not supposed to get involved in such things. That's why, you know, people love to gather in sects and excluding others. Because those within their power who need them, because human beings, you know, often have the abusive tendency to use natural resources to gain power over people you see those within the power of you who are need you they have no choice but to give in to your demands to your illusions to your false expectations those outside of your your influence who can't go without you they won't do that they will put you in your place so that's why in human societies you see that people divide each other in groups and groups avoid each other and not talk about multiple ethnic talk about in homogeneous ethnic, ethnic society even in homogeneous countries as for example Japan there are very subdivisions even within, within a city also sometimes within families also it's all about wanting to lay treasures on earth and that's where human violence comes from because people want to make treasures on earth they want to have power over other human beings, over social relationships, and they use natural resources as water, food, and, you know, um, soil, pieces of land to do that. And they claim that they, they claim ownership, they claim rights and everything, but it's just a game. It's just a dangerous game of wanting to become God. So, this should be it for now. I shouldn't have to make another video about this. 
when someone wants to become the god of their own lives, they begin to search treasures in life so that they don't can replace God in their life. You want to replace the place of God in their lives. They want to become their own God and they know they can't be their own God, so now they search for treasures that can feed their illusions. And they will kill, murder and steal in order to achieve that. And that's basically what most people do through life. Unfortunately, also those that are born again. Because they haven't matured yet. Don't do that. The Lord is your treasure. He will take care of you. And yes, in life you can act wise by, make, by making provisions when the Lord commands you to do. I'm not saying to be spent rift and waste everything, no. However, don't search, don't make those things your treasure. Because or else you're in trouble. Well, may God's grace be with you and obey you.